what's up guys in this video tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to find the future value or the total value or total amount you earned from a compound interest by using TVM solver on your calculator okay so before we get started how can we get to TVM solver uh, for those of you who have really older version of TI-83 might have to press second and X to the minus one power. It will bring you to the finance uh, tab I believe. So those of you who have older version of 83 make sure you try it that way to get into finance tab. But those of you who have a newer calculator like newer TI-83 or the one that I'm using here uh, you guys just need to press this button apps apps is right next to uh, math key here and if you just hit that you'll be brought into the screen it says applications so if you look under applications you'll see that number one says finance right in order to go to TVM solver that's what we have to press so just hit enter and once you hit enter you will see TVM solver on the first one so just hit enter again and you'll be brought into this kind of screen so um, in order to practice I I took some practice problem off of the internet so we can practice with it and let's check it out so it says determine the total amount you earned if you invest $750 that gives you 7.25 percent interest for four years and that compounds annually okay so um, if you look go back to your calculator you'll see the first one says n equals right n equals here is saying how many times did it compound for a certain amount of years so in our case uh, we want to find the value after four years right but during that four years how many times did it compound okay well it says compounded annually so it means one every year so since it's one every year for four years it's got to be four so all we have to do is just type in four and hit enter and the second one that says I percentage that means an interest percentage so go back to our problem as a 7.25 percent so, right so we just need to type in 7.25 just like that and hit enter okay PV means present value present value is how much you how much money you put in so in this case they invested seven hundred fifty dollars right and because they invested it we have to put them in the minus or negative number so instead of just typing seven hundred fifty dollars you have to type in minus or negative seven hundred fifty make sure you guys use that minus sign located right next to dot okay or else you're gonna get an error so once you hit that uh, seven hundred fifty just hit enter and PMT represents payment but in this case we don't have to worry about it so just leave it as a zero okay the future value well future value is what we want to find right but before we do that we have to fix this P dash Y C dash Y so P dash Y and C dash Y has to be same most of the time and those represents how many times it's compounded every year and like we said it compounds once every year so we can just leave it as one and the bottom one as one also so let's go back to our FB which represents future value and how can we figure out the answer it's per, it's like a magic so you guys got to try this out but okay follow follow me along here um, so in order to find the value at that point we have to use this thing called solve button on your calculator yep they got a solve button on your calculator so in order to access solve button 
you have to press alpha. Alpha is that green key here. If you hit alpha and after you hit alpha, hit enter. If you hit alpha and enter, what do you see? You'll see that you will access that green button, which is solve, right? And if you hit enter, guess what? It gave you the future value, $992. And of course, that's the answer. Okay, so, um, so we got this one right. But let's try something a little bit different, okay? It's going to be same exact. It'll, it'll pretty much be same, but it'll be a little bit different. So let's read this. It says, determine the total amount of earned if $4,500 is invested for six years at an interest rate of 4.75% that is compounded monthly. You have to be careful because it's not annually anymore. So let's go back and uh, retype our data. So from the n, we have to figure out what n is. Okay, you remember what n was? n is how many times uh, the my account will be compounded in six year period. So since it says it's going to be compounded monthly for six years, it means it's going to compound 12 times six much right which is 72 times in six years so I have to type in 72 so uh, okay we knocked that one out so the next one interest interest is 4.75 percent so just type in 4.75 hit enter and our um, our present value is different right it's $4,500 so we type in minus. Oh, you can clear off by hitting clear too. Uh, just so hit minus or negative sign and four five zero zero. Okay, so payment because we don't have to use it, leave it as a zero. P dash Y C dash Y. Uh, okay, remember what those represents? Those represents how many times is it compounded in one year? And since it's compounding monthly, we have to put how much? 12. So 12 and enter. Notice the second one will just change also. So you save some time, like a one second, right? So anyway, so how can we find the future value? Same thing here. Uh, you, if you want, you can hit clear, but you still have to do alpha and enter. Once you do alpha enter, it will give you that new future value based upon the other information you gave it to. So $5,980, uh, $5, nice, that's it. So yeah, that's it for how to find the future value or total amount you earned by using TVM solver on your calculator. If you guys have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.